being cast in a major international drama series is no small achievement for any young actor, particularly so when he's a South African competing for the part against worldwide competition. Who? Jovan Matre played the part of Azam Shah in season 4 of Homeland, adding to an already impressive body of work in television, theatre and film. He's every bit as adventurous as some of the characters he has portrayed, and he persuaded Zaki to join him in exploring the outer edge of her comfort zone. Being an actor means being able to push past your personal limits, and that's what makes it so exciting and thrilling. I must admit, though, that sometimes some other people's thrill thresholds are a lot greater than mine, and I think that might be the case today. Javan Mathre has invited me out on a limb, and I just hope I don't break any limbs. Romeo, Romeo, where for art thou, Romeo? Right here, baby. <laughs> Come down and play with me. I'm coming. Would you call yourself a thrill seeker or an adventurer or both? I'm a little bit of a thrill seeker and a little bit of an adventurer. Speaking of adventure, how about we go on one ourselves? Jovan was already kitted out, but Zaki still needed some protection from gravity. Good day. Can I get you dressed into your harness? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Lift this to your waist. There you go. This baby goes right here. Cool. Now that you're ready, I'm going to take you to the zip line. Let's follow me. Theater. Getting to the top of the zip line turned out to be an adventure in itself. You can do it! And it wasn't the kind of sport that encouraged any downward glances. Jovan made it look so easy, but it seemed that Zaki had a different perspective on how best to enjoy the ride. That was awesome! Not very <laughs> Javan, what made you want to become an actor? I'm a lawyer by profession, but I act to pay my bills. What are your favourite and most challenging characters you've played? Theatre. There was a play called Sape. It was a play about Baggies in Cape Town. And I played Sean, the lead character. My first role on television was an international role on Homeland, which was also really, really cool. I got to play a CIA asset. Makani is Taliban. They showed up five years ago, making noise about Sharia law, demanding to see people's papers, asking for IDs they couldn't even read. And they shut down the school. It was clear what they wanted for us to become like them. My father, my father stood up to them. They placed the mine outside his house, under his favorite tree. When he died, everyone else backed down. You're also a director and a producer. I'm a producer, a writer, and an actor. <laughs> um, I'm actually busy directing um, a small little theater project a little bit later today. Before we do that, I just want to reverse bungee quickly. You're on your own. Jobin was about to become a human catapult projectile. Three, two, one! His stomach may have been left behind on the ground, but Jobin <laughs> certainly kept his head while yo-yoing overhead. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Frank. When he's not getting an adrenaline rush outdoors, Joven pushes his limits by creating characters as an actor and bringing drama to life as a director. Javan is clearly quite a character, but let's see what he's like with his director's cap on. As an actor himself, Jovan knows exactly that a performer looks to the director for guidance while also wanting to harness their own creativity when creating a character. He focuses his full attention on his actors, constantly assessing everything from the lines they are delivering to expression, gesture and body language. And he has a natural instinct for when to intervene and when to give them freedom. <laughs> Jivan, what do you enjoy most about directing? What I enjoy about directing is it informs my, my acting. So if I am 
directing someone, I'm also busy thinking about what choices they could have been making, which makes me think about what choices I could be making when, when I do perform. What are you working on at the moment? Hashtag characters, which is a sketch comedy show, kind of like a game show hosted by Desmond Dube. That is an awesome, awesome experience. Then also, I'm one of the founding members of a theater collective called the Movement RSA. We've formed to create works amongst ourselves. So we've been lucky enough to, to get good reviews, get some good awards. What awards did you win? Recently, we won two Naledi Awards. One for best production and one for best performance in a children's theatre production. What have you learned about acting and yourself along the way? I continuously rediscover myself through performance. Only when I'm performing am I real, even though I'm playing someone else. What is your approach to life and your mantra? When opportunity comes knocking, grab it with both hands. Although still at 20-something, Jovan has already shown a chameleon-like ability to portray characters from every walk of life, while also realizing his vision as a director. Never expecting a sure bet, he generates his own luck through talent, hard work and daring. 